Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Today we are going to have our second class in Arabic. Last time, or the class before this one, we spoke about the letter A, which is supposedly Alif as a word. A, which is equal to A. But remember, in Arabic we don't have A, so you have to say A. And before we go to the second letter, just to refresh your memory and to clear any confusion, because some of you maybe don't understand what I said about this letter does not accept to be connected from the left. When I say that, doesn't mean all the letters, I mean this letter. In Arabic, there is a few letters, they don't accept to be connected from the left. And this is one of them. I will give you an example of those letters for now, like as a fast uh, uh, info. Uh, Alif. And then we have wa, za, ra, da, za. So those letters, as you see, uh, let me make them more clear. A, the first one. As you see, this is A. You see, I'm writing on the screen, and this is like uh, it's not fixed uh, in that in the thing. So uh, this is this is the A, and this is Wa, the second one. And then remember, we are reading from the right to the left. Don't be confused. All right, this is Arabic. In Arabic, we read and write from the right to the left. So I'm starting with the letter Alif A, Wa. Za or the, we call it Zain. Za, Ra, Da, Tha. Those letters didn't accept any connection from the left. All right. So if they are the first letter anyway, they have to be free because it is the first letter and they don't accept connection from the left. Did we get? It? I think it's very simple. So when you see those letters, you put in your mind that those letters we cannot connect them from the left it doesn't matter if they are at the end at the end anyway there is nothing in the left right remember we are writing in the language from right to left so if they are at the end well they can be connected from the right but anyway they are at the end so there is nothing in the left anyway if they are in the beginning they have to be free connected not from the right not from the left why because they are the first letter anyway and they can't be connected from the left. So I think the the, uh, the issue here is a clean, a clear. However, if there is any of you uh, did not understand what I'm saying, please let me know. All right. Uh, so we we can clear it out for you, and we can make it simple. Uh, so from this uh, side of the letter, we cannot we cannot connect for those letters only, not for the whole alphabet. Take a note. So don't think I'm saying that for the whole alphabet. So Alif, Wa, Za, Ra, Da, Tha. Now later we will like we, we did not take those letters yet. We took only Alif or which a, which is is a, a. <coughs> But for now, just take a note about those letters, and in the future we will repeat to remind you about them. Now we will go to the letter after or the, the the second letter in the in the alphabet which is the letter ba <coughs> this is the letter ba let us show you here we go this is how it looked like in english next to it ba but as i said remember I don't like you to remember letters in English. Remember them as it is in Arabic. Don't focus in the English. No, no, you know that, because if you focus in English, you are not learning Arabic. You are just learning English. That's why I don't like to have those next to them. But just in the beginning, I will accept. But after that, we will not use the Latin letters to to learn because this is not right. So this is ba. Ba is different from the letter A, which means it can and accept connection from the right and from the left. This is why we gave you 
a bunch of letters which they don't accept a <coughs> connection if you remember we just mentioned to you a uh, we will make it red Zane we will make it red uh, da da is equal to d in like dog in English the ra so those letters there is no way <coughs> they can accept connection <coughs> from from the left they cannot uh, this family of letters now ba accept connection from the right from the left there's no problem which make it a lot if, uh, easier to remember how it work so this is the letter ba by itself remember like you will notice here when we say a letter in Arabic any letter by itself as if we are adding a at the end like notice I said ba as if there is at the end as if I'm saying b a you know to make it to make it more simple for you <coughs> Notice with me what I'm saying. Ba. Let me make it big. Just to make it clear for you. In the Latin letter. But in fact there is no A here. But in the sound there is A. So I'm saying Ba. So if we read the alphabet, we will see as if we are adding a to every letter. As long we are reading the alphabet alone, remember. So a, ba, ta, tha, ja, ha, kha, da, the, ra. And I'm giving you the letter as a plane, not as a name. As I said, Arabic letters, they have a name. So like we say, alif, ba, ta, I'm not doing that now. Uh, don't be confused this is the letter plain letter alone as we said before to refresh your memory every letter in Arabic have a name like same as we said for Aleph all right but this is not important you will not use it anyway so let us focus on the letters by itself as it is because this is what you will use this is what you will need Ba, you will notice as if there is a at the end but there is no it's a sound only all right uh, which mean uh, something we call in Arabic fatha. Fatha will make the sound as if there is a at the end. Later we will take, we'll give you those valves, uh, and there is movement you took, you put in the top of the Arabic letters, and they will make you change the sound for them. However, all the letters when we pronounce them by themselves, they come as if there is a at the end. All right. So this is ba, as we see here. And this is how it's written in the beginning of the word. You see the letter how it is in the beginning. And this is how it is between, which means between two letters, which means you can connect. You see the, 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 the line there? You can connect from the right, you can connect from the left. And this is how it is at the end. So I will connect my tablet. The reason I'm not connecting my tablet right away, for three, for this, from some reason, this tablet uh, crashed my computer if I connect it for a while. So now I will connect my. I need to get a new one, something better. Uh, so let us connect. So we will show you how we write it down. All right. I think we are good to go. So here. <coughs> Let's write to you. Look with me here. In the beginning, this is how we draw the letter. It's very simple. It's not really that complicated. It is like you have, if you have a knife, and you have an edge, and you go down, and then you put a dot. That's in the beginning. Then if it is in the middle, you make a line, then an edge, then a line, and that is in the middle. If it's at the end, 
you make a line and then you bring the letter always to the older shape which mean any letter remember this letters at the end of the word they come back to the original this is the original you see it in the circle this is the original way of the letter so when the letter at the end it goes back to the original in the beginning it's not in the original look as you see this is the in the beginning this is in the middle now let me clean that we do it again this is ba in the original this is ba in the beginning this is ba in the middle and this is ba at the end at the end it goes back to the original but still there is a line to connect remember right letter ba accept connection from the right and from the left so there is no different however at the end of the of the word always most like there is no uh, there is no uh, like exception mostly uh, Arabic letters they go back to the original shape so they look as we see them here when they are at the end they change their look in the beginning as we see here and they change their look when they are in the middle but it's very simple and later you will see how easy I'm going to make it for you how to write in Arabic It's going to be very easy because the way I do it in school by the way they don't teach this way there's no way you will see at school teacher they will do this because if they do this uh, people will finish very fast and nobody will pay tuition so they make it slow boring etc so this is the second letter it's very easy uh, uh, ba as a letter is different from the letter alif as we showed you the letters who they are disconnected we showed you in the screen which one we can go back again up so you can see them again All right. Alif, a, da, da, ra, za, or we call it zain. So uh, those letters, we don't connect them at all from the left, but from the right we can. The rest, as we see, it is fine. There's no problem. We can connect them. I hope this is very uh, clear for you. And this will be the video for the letter ba. It's very simple, very easy. And I uh, will go right away after to the letter ta after that. Mm -hmm.